reverse the next thing. So once we had it all painted and we had the cork on the wall, then Mamrie went out of town for two months and it became... What? <laughs> I had to call myself later. I was, by the way, um, since I decided to leave and go to North Carolina for a couple months, I'm redoing the room. Um, a bed is being delivered next week. And then I was like, and a dresser is being delivered. And you know what? My friend chair, Claire's just going to be there. And a planter. The first piece that we nailed down was we knew we wanted to do like a really luxe feeling bed. I've always loved and coveted velvet mm. headboards. Velvet. And beds. Velvet. You velvet. Know? velvet. Something yes. you can really bang your head on. And I... <laughs> Those the images are fantastic. <laughs> I love Joybird. I work with them all the time because they, especially for your aesthetic, which mm-hmm. just has like a little bit of that mid-century modern feeling. Oh, mid century mod. Oh my gosh. They have the best mid-century modern furniture. I use them all over the kitchen cabin. I've used them in a ton of projects. And I just know they have the best velvet beds. You finally have a nightstand. Yes. A real nightstand. This is also from Joy. Real good at just leaning over and putting my glass of water on On the the floor. floor. Yeah. (laughs) Really, really leveled me up. This is like a full grown up thing, but I love, love this nightstand from Joybird as well because of the little woven detail. Yes. It goes so well with the cork and all the other things going on. I had a chair in that corner, but this one feels, again, it feels like more modern and adult and Well, it has arms too. True. It just became like a glorified like laundry basket, right? Because you can't no one's gonna sit in a chair without arms like you're just not gonna so this Mm -hmm. one it's like it might still become a glorified laundry basket absolutely but it could technically be a chair as well so all the light fixtures in here are from hudson valley lighting and i work with them all the time i love them so much because they have so much variety Mm -hmm. and so we have um from a couple of different parts of their brands because they have like troy lighting and mitzi and Mm -hmm. hudson valley and corbett so we have a few mixed in here but we noticed like all of the lighting we went for had this kind of like lydia deets quality a hundred percent it feels like like this light in particular that's mitzi lamp which i'm obsessed with it's It's like my favorite thing in the room yeah it feels like you could take the shade off and it would have like a weird head from Beetlejuice. <laughs> you know, it could it could talk the to you. A sandworm is underneath there. Exactly, just like ready exactly. To go. Yeah. I love it so much. It's like a lamp with scales, you oh. know? It feels like it should have a lizard head. Well, the shapes are great. And then, I mean, I'm obsessed with the one above your bed. Because mm-hmm. for this one was, so this was something interesting. We couldn't add a new light box because once again, you know, it's a rental. So we just took an existing light and just replaced it. And I love this light so much. It's the Nova lamp from Toy Lighting. And to me, when I saw it, I was yeah. like, it looks like a martini, like a little olive that goes in a martini. Mm-hmm. And I know she likes martinis. So like, that's why to me, I was like, this is like a grown up version of an olive I love from it. a martini. It's like an olive in a martini yeah. mixed with like a weird planet. Sure. So I like that. I know. It's very cool. And then even that, this guy over here, it's like the little proportions are kind of a little, like, you know, they're kind of odd and in a really fun, interesting way. So all yes. the light fixtures are kind of, they just have this, like, interest to them. Again, like. yeah. How it's uneven, mm-hmm. it feels like uh, Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast to <laughs> Drunk Cousin, <laughs> which I adore. It's so great. And it, it looks beautiful. The lights ended up dictating how the drapes um, turned out, where we ended up finding these really great uh, black and white drapes. And these are from, like, Pottery Barn Teen. Pottery Barn Teen. Um, I know I might look 37, <laughs> but I shop at Pottery Barn Teen. She's got young at heart. Mm-hmm. Young at heart. Um, yeah, but, like, that's the thing. Sometimes the kids' brands actually have, like, I mean, it doesn't, like, who cares? Like, it's still super going. nice. Look, those teens' parents have money. But, yeah. Pottery Barn Tea. And it turned out so well. Like, they I love, awesome. love, love. I fell in love with this little arched mirror of theirs. So pretty. Yeah, and like, we were able, you can see in this room, even though we have a lot of uh, black hardware, we also blended in some gold as well. I love brass, I love gold, but sometimes it can be really overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to actually blend it in with other textures. I agree. You know, so it's nice. It has its little moment, but then there's a lot of like black to kind of like mellow it out throughout. Mm -hmm. And then in the corner here, we have this beautiful little terrazzo planter, which same thing. It brings back that like black and white story Mm -hmm. and like kind of, I love, I'm all about indoor plants. I love it. So it's Mm -hmm. like bringing in a little bit of green into your already green room. I think, why not? And so some of the other articles of furniture we have are from... Article! Oh my God, we did that so good. <laughs> That's true. This is not our first video together. I, I love Article. They do really beautifully made modern furniture. Yes. And um, this dresser, I love the combo of like the dark wood, mm-hmm. the fresh white, the black leather, leather pools. Yeah. It's very beautiful. And then we also have from Article as well, that adorable little rattan side table. So cute. So cute. Like I love, I love bringing some of the textures in here that are a little more like, 
you know, like more of that mid-century vibe. The last kind of thing that kind of fell into place was all the soft goods. So that means like the rug, the bedding, because the bedding is a thing. You can't just like design this incredible bedroom and then like just have like some white sheets on it. It is Portugal linen <gasps> from the citizenry. And I, I've, I, the citizenry, I, I've never like used their stuff before, but I have been low key, like just stalking them. Like I'm it's always so on their good. website. Like, like it's so pretty. I'm obsessed. But, oh. And I like, I have a little PTSD with decorative pillows normally because I'm, I'm from the South and oh, like yeah. Southern women, they'll put so many pillows on a bed. It just ends here. Like it's just, <laughs> 30 pillows and then you have to stack them every night and it's like a part-time job. Yeah. So when you came to me and you're like, I have some idea for them, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, maybe. Like, I it want just, two pillows. I'll trust and now I love them Oh my God. so much. They're so nice. And the citizenry, like, they did this amazing bedding. They also have this incredible rug. So good. But they're great. I mean, honestly, they build, like all of their pieces are really sustainably done mm -hmm. and really ethically done as well. And they're all like so many handmade items, like really beautiful. So definitely somewhere to like just explore and find gorgeous things for your home. So yeah, but, I love this rug because it brings in colors that we didn't have before. Yeah, and it kind so of- So it's not so, oh, it's just pink, black, white, green. Yeah, it's, it's not like, like the only things happening. Some earthiness Exactly, to it. it's really, really pretty. And then yeah, the last kind of finishing touch um, is from Elsie Home who do these gorgeous pillows. And I'm, I have them all over Oeste Home. They're so, so good. I'm, I love their stuff. They have so many great, they have like, a million colors, they're really beautiful. And my favorite one though is the evil eye pillow. Yes, see you, I don't know if you knew how much I love eyeball stuff. I kind that. of like, I had like a gut feeling you'd like eyeball stuff. So yeah. like when I found the pillow, I was like, oh, I think Mamrie's gonna like it. I love stuff. eyeball stuff. I have like, I have a, like a optometry school, old school like science model of an eyeball oh my God. back there. I didn't know that. I love eyeball stuff. I got big eyeballs. <laughs> but no, I am so pleased. I love Dolly. I love yes. all the bits and pieces. It all tied here. together. I love going to sleep here at night and I love waking up here in the morning. I'm I don't so just nice. walk through it anymore. It's no longer a hallway. <laughs> I'm so pleased. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about Mamrie's gorgeous boudoir, uh, make sure to check out all the information below. Um, also for vendor information of all the different pieces that are in here, I'm gonna be posting about it and linking to it. So make sure to check those out as well. Oh, it turned out so well. I love it. Yes. I love it and so much. And I feel much. like it reflects you. Yeah, right. absolutely. Right. But like a but like a classier version. It's the one I want to portray. It's how I see you though. I see you as very glamorous and see you because you always got like the lashes and the amazing red hair. Like I just That's called vanity. It, or, <laughs> or glamour. <laughs> well, I love it. Me too. Yes. Well, thanks guys.